Well, the last thing we want to do during the busy week is spend our entire right. evening cooking. That's right. That is why today we are talking easy, slow cooker recipes. Mama Cuisine, Johanna Mapuri joins us now in our Studio 41 kitchen to share a few different beef recipes. Hello, ladies. Hello. I love this because, yeah, I yeah. just don't have time. I'm cooking in shifts now for these yeah. kids. That's what we're you talking know? about. Right. There's so much work in cooking yeah. because we're just busy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I really had the idea of slow cooker. I mean, it's that season. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got a huge uh, rump roast. Mm -hmm. It was like four or five pounds, the cheapest one, and you just put it overnight, and we're going to make three different meals out of it throughout the week. Okay, okay. so do you put, because there seems to be a broth in here, yeah, too. Yeah, so I did a little bit. If you have beef broth, um, okay. I did mine with water, a bouillon cube, a garlic, onions, and some soy sauce. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sear it a little bit with salt and pepper before you put it in and just literally go to bed. I like okay. it. Go to bed, and at 6 a.m., the house smells so good, and I brought it over here. So you, okay. I shredded it already. Um, so that it's easy. And the first thing we're going to do are tacos. Ooh, so very yeah. easy. I already pre-made some for you ladies. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and grab one there. Yep. Whichever one you grab. Okay, I'll grab this one. Mm -hmm. okay. Tacos are easy. Tacos yes, are easy. Delicious. Tacos are so easy. Festive, yeah, delicious. If you want to put some salsa. Ooh, salsa. Um, you know, you could add some more of the juices mm -hmm. if you'd like mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. Try it with this. Yeah. This is really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. No, you don't like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want some more onions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, then you have a pasta dish, too. Yeah, so pasta dish. So I'm going to have, here, let me go around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I can put some. So just your regular marinara broth, uh, marinara sauce, not broth, um, with your pasta. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some of this into there. the pasta. Yes, into the pasta. So, juices ooh, and all? Is, yes, juices and all. Okay. Mm. And that way, in here, actually I'll just put it in here, so we're gonna toss it together. Oh wow! Right, you just See, shred this it. Is great. And it's so simple. You know, there's a lot of really good jarred marinara. I always make mine from scratch, from just crushed oh, tomatoes yeah. um, and some and some spices. But look mm. how. See, and you kind of can hide it because sometimes my kids are a little iffy on meat. So, but I like <laughs> it. You can hide it in the pasta. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes, because it's shredded. It's and all it's about easy, easy and it's tender. Mm -hmm. With oh, kids, yeah. it's the texture thing with yes, kids. Yes, it sure kids is. Kids oh, get and so then, iffy. Then you cover it with some cheese. Yeah, yes. I won't even oh, see it. Lord. Yeah. This have, you have to try. Have this you got to try. <laughs> and you know, instead of pasta water, I did some of the broth. You know how you yes. put a little bit of pasta right. water with your sauce? I did the broth that was in the crock pot. Put it in here so that it's way more flavorful. Yeah. Add some that. Oh, look at you. Throw some vegetables. Some, some parsley. <laughs> Not some really parsley. parsley. Not really a vegetable, I guess. <laughs> right, this is so right, good. Right, try this. Oops. Right. I, 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 that I looks come. great. I'll I tell you. And now, can you, how long do you think that this is last in the fridge? Mm. The week? Oh, yeah. Okay, for sure leave. the week. Yes, P please put more for our last one. So, yes. So, definitely. It'll be there for three, four days. And plus, you can freeze it if you really wanted it to last through the weekend. Mm -hmm. And then just thaw it out. And then just out. do more. Thaw it out. Um, but a lot of times, you know, a lot of people like to meal prep yes. these days, too. You yeah. know, so you could put this with quinoa, vegetables on the side. So you're all prepped so for the week. Maybe. Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. This is so good. Yeah. And then the last one is ramen. We were just talking about how all of our kids, our kids love ramen. Just love ramen so much. So you just shred this beef. Look at that. So so good. So good. Yeah. So good. And you have the ramen sitting on, what is that? This bok choy. Oh. So we always want to add it. Yeah. I, I did it really thin. So you just okay. put this here. And look at that. Mm. One roast has created three, three different, different meals. meals. And that they're not, you don't feel like you're just doing uh, leftovers. It looks like exactly. you actually created three Fresh different meals. meals. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And you know, and I so love they're this. warm. Oh, what's that? And I love can... the chili oil. Ooh, so. chili. Yes. Oh, wow. And you can do it with shredded chicken, I'm imagining, too. Yeah, kind of anything. Or chicken. You know, you can. It's, it's really great with the inexpensive cuts, especially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you put it in there and it'll shred, it'll become so tender. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't. Don't even spend for the super expensive yeah. roast. Okay. It's perfect when you're on a budget. And again, three different meals. You could just portion it out if yes. you have to and then freeze mm -hmm. it or whatever. Uh, yeah. This is so good. delicious. Absolutely. I oh, Mama Cuisine, this. you always have the greatest I ideas. Know. So yeah. thank you for coming in and sharing yes. with us. This is a, so you can check out her website, mamacuisine.com or look at her social media handles. Great ideas like this constantly. Of course, super she does do some simple. more elaborate ideas, but this is great for people like us. Yes, and I love your salads too. They're fantastic. Yeah. <laughs>